Today's Monday Makeup Lesson is part three in our iSpace series. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on eyeshadows, how to customize them to work for you and your iSpace. Now, before we get into all of that, if you are new to the Makeup Chair channel and you enjoy tutorials like this, I might suggest hitting the subscribe button below. It's totally free. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now let's get started. In our previous video, we talked about finding your eye spacing and figuring out which of the three categories you fit into, average, close, or wide set. And this refers to the distance between the eyes. The so-called average spacing between two eyes is the width of one eye length apart. If it's less than one eye length apart, it's considered close set. If it's more than one eye length apart, it's considered wide set. So we took the measurement of one eye, using our thumb and index, and we place that measurement in the middle of the eye to see where it landed. If you found you were poking yourself in the eye, the chances are you have close set, meaning that your eyes are set closer together. If you found that you had room on either side, the chances are that you have wide set eyes. And if it fits quite snugly in the middle, then the chances are you have an average eye spacing. Now, just because something is referred to as average doesn't mean it's the most ideal or the best or the most beautiful. All of these eye shapes are beautiful in their own way. Average should really just be used as a base point to work from. So let's use the average eye spacing as a base point and create a basic look. For this, I use three eyeshadows, a light, a medium, and a dark. Now you wanna customize this to work for you. The light shade should be at least one shade lighter than your skin tone. The medium shade is at least one shade darker than your skin tone. And the dark shade is at least one shade darker than the medium. Now I'm gonna use neutral shadows just to keep it simple, but you can use colors. You just follow the same pattern of the light, medium, and dark. So for example, for my skin tone, I have my lighter shade, one shade lighter than my skin tone my medium shade, at least one shade darker, and then my dark shade, which is one shade darker than the medium. Now, when it comes to applying eyeshadows, the most basic way is to apply the lighter shade on the inner half, the medium shade above into the crease, and then the darker shade on the outer half. But we also wanna consider the angle and the placement, which we discussed in our previous video. I like to keep my eyeshadows between these two lines, and follow the angle in order to create a complementary look. But how do you find these two points? Well, the first line is where the eyeshadow stops on the outer edge. And I use the edge of my nose, eye, and brow to create an angle, and I blend my eyeshadows in from this point. But then how far do you actually blend the eyeshadows in? Well, I use the inner tear duct and create a parallel line. Keeping the eyeshadows between these two points is gonna create a nice basic look. As you can see here, the eyeshadows are in between these two imaginary lines. They're following the angle and the shape to better complement the eye shape. So let's use this theory and adjust it for close set eyes. Close set eyes are set closer to the nose and this often creates a natural shadowing effect on that inner corner. So what we wanna do is to draw the eyes outwards, bringing that darkness out and bringing some light back in. We're still gonna use a light, medium and a dark, However, our light shade is now gonna be at least two shades lighter than our skin tone. The medium shade is gonna remain the same, at least one shade darker. And then our dark shade is going to still remain the same as one shade darker than our medium. We also need to consider the placement. So the placement lines are a little different for our close set. It's slightly tilted outwards, pulling the eyes apart. So instead of using the edge of the nose, eye, and brow, we're going to change this and use the dimple of the nose instead and this then changes the angle. For the inner edge, we do pretty much the same as the average. We follow with a parallel line using the inner corner. That leaves us with these two lines. So using our placement lines, our lighter shades are gonna start on that inner corner following that angle, pulling the eyes apart. The medium shade is gonna be blended up past the eye, again, bringing up towards the temples. And the darker shade is gonna be kept quite low, similar to what you would see in a foxy eye makeup look. 
Now for white set eyes, we want to adjust it again. So white set eyes have a lot of natural lightness because they're typically further from the nose. So we want to adjust the eyeshadows to work for that as well. We're still going to use the light, medium, and dark. However, the light is now going to be pretty much matching the skin tone or a touch brighter instead of being lighter. The medium shade is going to remain the same. It's still going to be one shade darker than the skin tone. And the dark shade is still going to remain the same one shade darker than the medium. And our placement lines are very similar to the average, just slightly adjusted. We're going to keep it quite tight on the outer corner, making sure the eyeshadows don't blend out past the eye. And we're also nudging that inner corner a little bit or creating a vertical line from the dimple of the nose working upwards and bringing those eyeshadows really close to the nose. And I find what's best for a wide set is that the lighter shade sits in the middle. This is going to create more of a vertical look to the eye, making them a little rounder and closer to the nose. We're also going to bring our medium shade all the way in towards the nose and keep our darker shade quite short on the outer edge, similar to what you would see in a doe eye or a spotlight eye. We can also use mascara and lashes and even our brow shape to work for our eye space as well. And as we go through this series, I'll explain more on those. But don't forget to be creative. These are guides and not rules. So use them to better understand your makeup application, not control it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me understand what you like to watch. And if you have any questions, you can leave them here or you can message me on my Instagram, which is at Katie. I will try and get back to as many people as I can. Check back soon for more on this series or you can check the information box for the full playlist. As always, be kind to yourself, my friend, and I will see you in the next one.